Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? What's up, sons? It's Blind Guard with Sound Attack once again. And yes, it does look like some of the 3000 series cards are experiencing a hash rate drop on Ethereum with the latest drivers from NVIDIA 460.56. But before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the 199 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers, are bots welcome back son so yes basically we did a video this week talking about how to update your nvidia drivers on hive os when this was completed i took a look at the hash rates and we were seeing drops of like 5 to 10 mega hash a second on the 3070 and the 3060 Ti. Obviously this is concerning and that was with overclocks applied. However, it did not affect the RTX 3080 and as we had experienced previously when we updated the 3090, we did not have any sort of hash rate drop on that either. In fact, the 3090 went up in hash rate and now with an overclock, the hash rate on the 3080 appears to go up and stay a little bit more closer to that 100 mega hash range as opposed to the 97 that it used to be at before it. So it's kind of an odd duck and that is basically where we're sitting at. If you are currently mining with 3000 series cards and you have mixed rigs with 3070s and 3060 Ti's, it's highly advisable to go ahead and split those off from the 3080s and the 3090s because you actually get an advantage with the driver update on the 3080 and the 3090 while you get an obvious decrease in performance on the 3070 and the 3060 Ti. Why this is, I couldn't tell you exactly other than maybe the architecture and the die is close enough to essentially whatever the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte is and some of those performance downgrades on the driver side are carrying over to the 3070 and the 3060 Ti but not carrying over to the big boy cards like the 3080s and the 3090s. So later this week, we will go ahead and show you guys how to downgrade your drivers on Hive OS in case you went through and updated to 460.56. And currently the best driver for the 3060s and the 3070s is going to be 455.45.01. Definitely here need to clarify that is 3060 Ti specifically. We just got an RTX 3060 in for testing and we will have the results up hopefully later today. So if you're interested in those, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button, as well as that notification bell for sure. So this is a reproducible event, meaning that I was able to essentially uninstall the drivers, install the old driver, verify that the hash rate went back up, do it again, and we repeated that process multiple times on Ubuntu, at least the Hive OS driver version. And so if you're currently on Hive OS, I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, you want to be running the 455.45.01. And if you guys are adept enough and followed my how to update driver's guide, it's as simple as just going back in, repeating the same process, except instead of just leaving the driver portion version blank, you're just gonna do a space, type in that full driver version that is in the title of this video, press space and then do dash dash force, and that will get you back up and running. Hopefully you will be able to maintain that high hash rate. And if you're having other issues, of course, you want to start taking a look at the thermals because there are a lot of varying thermal issues across the entire 3000 series because of the rust release. At least that's my assumption is the rust release. We have Gigabyte having faulty pads and we have EVGA using thermal putty. So it's just a disaster out there as far as what's going on with uh, <laughs> thermal performance on the 3000 series. It's insane. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.